Hi everybody, in this video I wanted to show you how you can use Daisy Editor, the amazing mod from um, Inclement Dab, to come up with the coordinates you might need for events. So, for example, I've been working on um, some XMLs for Red Falcon's most amazing helis mod, and as part of creating those XMLs, I needed some spawn points, and I was doing the XMLs for Deer Isle. So these are these are the typical sort of spawn points you'll see for an event. This is in CFG Events Spawn. So we have an event uh, that spawns in the BO one hundred five M, and then it, we've got three um, three potential spawn points. The actual event itself uh, looks like that. So you're probably familiar with this sort of thing. So there's three helicopters. Uh, there should be three helicopters that spawn in, min, max, three. And by doing everything at three and having three potential spawn points, you guarantee that there be, will be helicopters there until people take them. <laughs> and then, then they won't be there. But on a fresh server, they will be there. So the question is, how do you come up with these coordinates? What do they mean? Well, we've got X, Z, and A. Now, X and Z are kind of across and up and down. Um, on the map why the missing one is is um sorry that's when you're looking at the top so it's kind of east to west north to south and why is altitude now for events we don't really need to put in altitude and i don't think you have to i don't think any of the events have any of the uh, event spawns have altitude in so we just need x and z and a is the rotation of the thing you're spawning in so this event the vehicle rfs heli b0105 event which its child is the heli, as you can see there, uh, will spawn in at those coordinates at, with that rotation, which happens to be the main airfield in um, Deer Isle, which is kind of kind of in this area here. Now, Daisy Editor is a fantastic free mod. So, if you've got Daisy PC, um, you can um, open up. You can subscribe to the Editor mod, and it's got a couple of things that you need to. Uh, subscribe to with as well cf builder items and dabs framework um, and then what we do is you fire up daisy and go to the mods tab load up the editor so we just say daisy editor and it says do you want these and you say yes and the weird thing is you don't look for a server because it plays on your local pc and you just hit play um, oh and make sure as well you've loaded up um the uh the mod for the map you want to play on so van vanilla wise you know it will have access to chernus and livonia but if you want to have access to namalsk or deer isle make sure you you've ticked those mods in the mod screen as well um, and it'll fire up and then we can go in and i can show you how to do it Okay, so what we do now is we just click open editor and you can see because i've loaded up the deer isle mod that becomes available just say select okay so we're in the editor um, and so, so let's say we wanted to spawn in I don't know a, ve a vehicle and we wanted the coordinates for that so let's say off-road hatchback so let's grab the off an off-road hatchback and let's pop it down there and so that, that that baby's there so actually we don't want it we want it further back a little bit so somewhere like that yeah, that's quite nice, isn't it? So we've just popped that in, and let's say, I don't know, say we wanted another one, I don't know, up here. Oop, is that going to sit down nicely? And then we want to turn that around, so we press shift just to spin it around. Like so. Move it back a little bit. There we go. So we... So we so they're the two cars we want to we want to spawn in. So let's say we now want, want the coordinates for those cars. All you need to do in Daisy Editor is just go File, Export, Export to Events, click that, go down, give it a name. So File, um, Dear Isle Aders. Export it like that. That's done. Come out of uh, the editor. You can, you, you can leave it running, but just like Alt Tab out of it. Go into your uh, documents on your computer. Go into it's normally Daisy and then Editor, and then go down to Deer Isle. What do we call it? Deer Isle something other, isn't it? Deer Deer Isle Aders. There it is. And now, if we open that, uh, if we edit that with Notepad Plus Plus, we get this beautiful little file. And as we can see, if we compare that with um, 
this sort of uh, event. So event name equals, and it just gives it the off-road hatch back right. Obviously, when you, when you make a vehicle event, it should it should start a vehicle and then whatever the th the thing is that you want to call it. And we've got pos x y z a. So the so the problem is that we've got y. We don't need y. So let's imagine the, these were for. Uh, I actually, they said I wanted to put helicopters where these things were. All we need to do is just delete the y business like so. And now that format that you can see there, that is now perfect for adding to an event spawn. So what we could do, we could just copy that like that. And then we could just add it, for example, underneath here. And you should be able to see that the format is exactly as we would want it. So you can see how easy it is to generate um, very, very exact coordinates. Because obviously what you can do is you can go into I survive and you can just put your uh, cursor somewhere and then you could press control C to get those coordinates. The problem with doing it that way is that there might be some bushes there, there might be a wall there, you don't quite know what's there. But when you're actually in the editor, you know exactly what is there. Actually, the only thing that you don't know is exactly there is if there's already an event spawn there that, that might spawn something in, like a truck or a car or a load of zombies. And just remember as well that when you set up your events, if you want them to spawn in very, very consistently, make sure you change something like the um here we go where we got make sure you uh, make sure the distance radius is very small so that means that it will enable the event to spawn in near other events um if, if it's too big and there's similar events going off they won't spawn in because they'll interfere with each other so there we go hopefully you found that video useful um how to use daisy editor to create um the coordinates for your uh, CFG event spawns that XML. Um, it makes things much much faster. I found, and uh, well done to Inclement Nab for um, for implementing it in such an amazing way. Let me just get rid of that because I don't want it, and I will bid everybody farewell.